My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hey, yeah, you are welcome to another beautiful episode of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at electromagnetic induction. This is such a big topic in physics. This is a star boy, big boy topic when it comes to physics. And remember, I am a teacher from the future. I shall make sure that I analyze and make electromagnetic induction something very, very interesting and simple for you. Long time ago, we found out that current can produce magnetic fields. Let's say current can produce magnetic fields. Let's call this magnetic effect of current. What is magnetic field? Magnetic field is a region or a space where the effect of magnet is experienced. Let's say I am talking. Hello, I am Flash Isaac. There is a limit my voice can get to. So my voice is covering this area. Therefore, you can say this is my voice field. The region around here where my voice is heard or where the effect of my voice is experienced. So if you have a magnet, the effect or the area where the effect of that magnet is felt is called magnetic field. So if current can produce magnetic field, we can therefore say that that is the magnetic effect of current. So the finding that current can produce magnetic fields led to the idea that magnetic fields can produce current. So, this whole idea that magnetic fields or magnets can produce current is the focus of electromagnetic induction. Now, what is electromagnetic induction? It is the production of current from magnets. It is the production of current without batteries. It is the reverse effect or it is the reverse of the magnetic effect of current. Since electromagnetic induction has to do with producing current from magnets, how does it happen? How is current produced from magnet? Take note of this. When there is relative motion between the magnetic field and the conductor, EMF is induced. EMF is induced. Anytime you have a magnetic field and you have a conductor, let's say wire, if there is perpendicular motion, relative motion between that magnetic field and the conductor, EMF is induced. EMF can be equals voltage, but not always voltage. Now look at this concept. Let me explain the concept of current, voltage, resistance, and EMF to you. Imagine electric circuit is the money you have in your pocket, your cash flow the total amount that you have, that is the circuit. Let voltage be the amount of money that you have. So, the more money you have, the more voltage you have. If the money you have is voltage, voltage drop is the act of spending. 
which means as you spend the money you have is dropping so that is voltage drop taking voltage to be the amount of money that you have now current will be the rate of spending the way you spend is the current with that you can say that the amount of money that you have is what actually pushes how you spend it is voltage that pushes current go 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 and go so we've seen that circuit is the total amount in your pocket voltage will be the amount of money that you have voltage drop is the art of spending as you are spending you are dropping voltage and current is the rate at which you are spending and let's take resistance to be your frugality or your reluctance anytime you want to spend and something says don't spend don't spend that is resistance which implies that current is your rate of spending resistance is now opposing your rate of spending it's against don't spend don't spend i want to spend don't spend so it is opposition to current if you understand this and using this reasoning therefore battery can be your salary and it because it is what produces the amount of money that you have if battery is your salary this emf is the size of your salary the size of your salary that is emf so if no current is flowing emf will be the same thing as voltage which means if you are not spending money at all the voltage will be the amount of money that you have and since you are not spending that will be equal to the size of your salary this is why we say that emf is terminal potential when no current is flowing using this analogy it will make a lot of sense to you if you are not spending your salary is equal to the amount of money that you have so emf and voltage they are the same but only the same if current is not flowing anytime current is flowing your voltage will be lesser than your emf why is voltage lesser than emf it is because of this resistance resistance affects voltage amount of money you have but it does not have anything to do with your salary if you are being paid salary and it's constant 100k monthly 100k monthly the amount of money you spend or your frugality or whether you are not spending or your stinginess does not affect your salary so voltage is usually lesser than emf because of resistance the relationship between emf and voltage is that e is equals v plus i arrow where this is the internal resistance this can also be e is equals i v plus i arrow plus i arrow external resistance and internal resistance so anytime there is relative motion between the conductor and the magnetic field emf is induced now the magnetic field is varying the very magnetic field will produce a varying current so the current that is produced in the process is referred to as induced current induction is therefore producing of emf and current by a very magnetic field this magnetic field is actually moving is varying is constant and that is what is referred to as magnetic flux the quantity or the amount of magnetic field that is being produced one thing that should keep ringing in your mind is that when there is relative motion between conductor and magnetic field emf is induced which means emf is generated and this induced emf gives rise to induced current so induced current is a current generated when there is relative motion between conductor and the magnetic field this shows that when the conductor is stationary and the magnetic field is also stationary emf 
is not induced. When the conductor and the magnetic field are moving at the same speed in the same direction, EMF will not be induced. EMF is only induced when there is relative motion between the conductor and the magnetic field. Now, the strength or magnitude of the current induced when there is relative motion between the conductor and the magnetic field depends on the strength of the magnet. It depends on the relative speed and it also depends on the number of turns in the coil. And the direction of this induced current depends on the type of motion producing the current, the direction of the magnetic field, and the type of coil, whether solenoid or other types of coil. When it comes to coil, what do you think a coil is? If you have a wire or a conductor, one like this, you formed a coil. And in your generator, you will hear that, or you will see on the body, 100% copper. It simply means that the coil is made up of copper, 100%. What is copper? Copper is a conductor or wire. If you open the generator, you will see a wire like this. So you can call that armature or the coil. That is what generates the EMF, the current. The better the coil, the more the generator will be able to carry load. If you buy some generators, after like six months, you will notice that it is not able to carry load like it used to be. It means that the coil are now very weak. They are not able to induce or give you that power that you need. Aluminium coils are usually not strong enough, but pure copper coils are very strong. So coils are very, very important in electromagnetic induction to produce current, to produce EMF. There are a lot of things to know under electromagnetic induction. Like the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which says that the induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux. The Lenz law, which says that the induced EMF or current flows in such a way as to oppose the motion producing it. We shall look at all that in the next episode. A deep current, which is an application of electromagnetic induction, we shall look at transformers and a lot of stuff. So, we shall have about three to five episodes treating electromagnetic induction because it is such a big boy and star boy topic in physics. So what do you do? Follow the series, get a flash learner jump application and begin to play with questions. Subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know about new videos. See you in the next episode where we shall look at the laws of electromagnetic